Hi guys, welcome to the third part of the final project of XHTML and CSS uh, chapter. So let's continue with our um, in our index.html and in here let's type um, let's type uh, wrapper here in the main you can type main and in the footer you can type footer okay now if we go back to our page in here and refresh you'll see uh, our footer the main and the wrapper okay all that okay so these are the sections that we have for now um, so let's open CSS again this was not lost everything is there still so let's continue and um, the first thing okay let me just push this a little bit more up now here in the footer I'm also want to give um, a border one big sorry one pixel solid black okay um, and let's go back to notepad plus plus and in the footer we're gonna let's take the footer out and type um, a copyright uh, a copyright declaration so we have to use the symbol this symbol a percent and type copy and now we type uh, 212 uh, let's type final project and you can type something like all rights reserved okay let's save this let's check this out in the web page if you refresh this there it is okay now to center this we just have to type here text line center okay perfect you'll see that now everything is centered and uh, the font is too big so let's type font size 14 pixels okay all rights reserved okay a lot better um, now the next thing we're gonna do uh, is to grab the image for the front page okay we're gonna put an image here and that image we have to uh, grab it from the download project or the completed project that you have available for download in at the end of the chapter okay so here I already have uh, the completed project here as I showed you in the first video uh, and I have images so you have to go to images um, or you can grab all the you can copy the folder images and post it or paste it sorry in your um, new project that we are creating here okay so all the images are here now okay perfect and um, we're gonna use this one dot gpg image the name is one dot gpg so I'm gonna use that in the main page so the main page I'm gonna take the main out of here and put the image there so we have type image SRC which means stands for source and now we type images which is the folder and one dot gpg which is the name of the image okay and close this okay um, I still have to put a uh, width 800 pixels and height 300 pixels 
Okay, now let's say that instead of putting all these um, all these uh, in here, the width and the height. What about if I wanted to put the width and the height in the CSS? So to do it, I just had to type uh, main EMG or wrapper main and then EMG. So I had to put something like this. Main after main I should put wrapper, which is the next um div inside main and then I just had to type EMG. Okay. Um so as long as the wrapper has only one image, which is the, the image that we are using, you can type this um, this way. If the wrapper has more images, this will not work because every um, we basically are using uh, the path to every single image inside the wrapper. Okay, this way. Um, if you had an image, or if you wanted if you wanted to use uh, one uh, distinct image, okay, you have to um, you can give it a um, you should give it a a, a class or um, rapid uh, with a div ID okay and give it a name here and then close it here okay F so for each image you should uh, have uh, you should have a, a div wrapping it up okay so it would identify each different image uh, or a class you can use also a class you can wrap it up you can wrap the image in a class now uh, we only have one image so I'm gonna use only uh, EMG here and here I can type um, width and here I can type 800 I think it was yes 800 pixels and the height 300 pixels okay I'll save this and let's check if everything is working. Let's go here, refresh, and there it is. Okay, uh, pretty big. Um, and I think this is too big. I know, uh, I know why this is happening. I made a mistake here. Sorry, guys. Uh, instead of main wrapper it's wrapper and then it's the main sorry okay so instead of 800 we have to put um, 700 because the wrapper has 700 pixels so let's type 700 here let me let me refresh now and there it is okay perfect now everything is okay the size is okay and um, we can go in here, open CSS, okay, and um, what we're going to do is grab also the footer. The footer properties, copy them. Let's post these in here, okay? Let's take the height out. Okay, refresh. Okay, so now everything is working perfectly. I'm gonna also grab these, copy, and put them in in here. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Uh, the next thing I want to um, style. I'm going to create now the uh, navigational bar where we have the home page, the contact page, and the about page. So let's go back to index.html and um, inside the header we will create 
a new div id equals nav let's close it here and in here uh, we have to type uh, the an, an ordered list for the three different links okay because those are links basically that we will create um, so we have to wrap the links href equals to a and um, basically here we type li and li 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 you can copy this and post it here and here okay now in here let's type um, home or sorry index dot html which is the main page and here you can type home and here you can type uh, about dot html which is we are creating a link to uh, a file called about dot html but we still don't have the file created we'll create it just in a moment and type here about and here you can type contact dot html contact okay now I'm gonna save this let's go back to the main page here and uh, refresh this so we have here the three uh, different links and so we need to style this now a little bit 